So these are not tactics, but tra strategy based positions you're saying? Uh, these are tactical problems. Oh, okay. You know how to analyze, right? Uh, I don't see it yet. I mean, I have the general idea, but not the solution. Okay. <clears throat> Did you know uh, how to analyze positions easily? Uh, I know to. I usually do first the material count to see where what okay. the material looks like. Okay. I then check for all the checks, captures, and forcing moves. Okay. I look at undefended pieces. All right. And I look. I start calculating at that point, basically, and then I also look at analyze the position, as in like just take note of what's going on. Like, is the king unsafe? Are the bishops, you know, blocked or something like that? With where the what does the piece? What does each of white's position piece looks, pieces look like compared to black's counterparts? Okay. Things Good like job. that. Okay. So here I know there's some idea of knight, you know, going to d7 to deliver some type of type of checkmate threat. Very good. Um, yeah, okay. Where does the rook need to move most forcefully to do that is what I'm trying to figure out. Um So your rook is doing a really a good job of preventing the king from escaping. Mm -hmm. Also, a pawn, right? Okay. Now, if you want to attack the king, a checkmate the king, your knight can either go to d7 or e4, but e4 is not available, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to move your rook, your rook away, it must still control the last rook. Right. Yeah. These three squares are not safe, meaning <clears throat> the best move is... Rook h7, uh, but... Uh, yeah, that's yeah. what I was calculating. So then if e5, then knight d7, king e6, then knight back to c5, rook, uh, king back to f6. You cannot lose because you have a draw. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize I was playing for a draw. I am... Oh, you're playing for a win, man. You're playing for a win. It's a win for white. For oh, 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 okay, okay. I gotcha.
Okay, so what if I play rook h7, he plays e5, then I take e5 with check. Mm -hmm. If king takes, then rook back to d2 would win the queen. And mm -hmm. he doesn't have any other options to move. And if he and takes he... on e5, which is queen? Then knight d7 wins the queen. Easy, right? And what if he plays? Um, yeah. So, rook h7, e5. Captures. He has only two ways. Oh, he doesn't have any other. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Coach, let me one second. Give me one second. Okay. You can pull the next one up while I'm. I'm just gonna plug in my charger. Can you do me a huge favor, please? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you're just you're comfy, but can you do me a favor and get me a glass of cold water and one of those, two of those mm -hmm. protein shakes, not muscle milk, but the container ones, they're in the drawer on the bottom left. They're like little mm -hmm. containers like this, bottles. Thank you. You're very sweet. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, just regular cold is probably good enough, unless you want to take your time to put some ice in it. Okay, where's my call? Did you just drop it? What the? Yeah, that one. Thank you. Really? You can have one too, you want? One? Thank you.
Hey, I think the call dropped, Brood. I signed back in. That dropped me a student. I'm always late, always rescheduling, always interrupting. This is like every single time we try to do this, this lesson, I either couldn't make it or was late or something. Levi Mercado. Repeat after me. Levi Mercado. I'm going to drop this Zoom call. Mercado. My chess coach. His name is Levi Mercado. Why is my loom recording my videos? What the hell is going on right now? Why is my face in this? You're being recorded too. All right, I got to go to my... Uh, zoom completely, go to Google Meet, open that call, join this call, send him this link. Shut my video off, join. How do I turn this off? I could just close this. Well, this one doesn't even have. to
because I start telling you right now. Okay, so I think I've got the idea. I haven't been able to calculate all the way to the end, but I think I have the idea here. So I'm gonna play basically Queen uh, G8, King E. I think he has to play King F6 or E7. So if if F6, then I'm taking on G6 with check. And if E7, then I am playing. Uh, Possibly King G7. Uh, because I would like to play, you know, um, Queen F8 followed by Queen F7 mate. Okay. Yes. Yes. Right. If we play it right now, correct? Um... I think he can also play, um, yeah, um, yeah. King D5, I think. Oh, I see the idea now. This is a very elaborate one. Okay, I see. So it's gonna be start with king. Um, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I thought I had the idea, but I was trying to force his king to c four somehow. And. And come give a check on a6 or something like that but it so then he goes back to e6 
Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Mm, okay, got it. I understand now. Yeah, if he goes to E6, then we come back to G8, right? And so if he has to play C4, then King uh, Queen A6 picks up the Queen. Yes. Then I'm playing Queen F8. Then Queen F7. I did consider this idea of skewering the king and the queen, by the way. I did consider it, but I quickly dismissed it because I, I was too focused on trying to get some sort of forced checkmate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This guy is one of the most famous coaches of all time. He's produced like hundreds of national masters, and some of them even became grandmasters. He's also currently coaching the Oklahoma State Championship champion, through which I got him as a coach. Through that kid's mom's reference. Very experienced coach. Okay, I got the idea here. Bishop F7. After King F7, Queen H5. Then what are you going to do? You're going to play, if you play something like... What am I missing here? Hold on a second. <laughs> I could have sworn that I had the tactic with basically queen h5 and queen d5 picking up the rook. But somewhere I went wrong. Hold on. Okay, why don't I try with queen h5 first? Yeah, because then queen d5. 
uh, then I mean we can just win the rook right queen takes uh, a8 So winning the exchange wasn't enough, basically, in that scenario. Mm, right. Mm, yeah. Yes. Got it. Okay. Okay. Playing for white, right? Okay, so I think I have enough to win, be able to win the pawn on g7, at least. Okay, so let's, let's start with king king c7. Yes. King b6. Why didn't I calculate simple move rook b1? I thought he had to play king c8. Or, sorry, rook c8. Mm. Okay. Thank 
Why is it dirty? Spill some stuff on it. Did you get it? Um, well, I also need to calculate if, um, actually, never mind. He doesn't have to trade ropes with me. Just kidding. Right. I was... Right. Um, I don't know. I still don't see anything after King C7, Trook checking. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. D two, yeah. E seven. No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Uh, probably not the best, but not necessarily a bad move either. It's kind of a waste of a tempo, I think, overall. How do I exploit this type of pawn moves is by... Is by, um... I mean, just getting my pieces out quickly while he's wasting time making a side pawn move. 
So knight f6, maybe c6. Any of those moves probably are okay. Knight f6 is probably the most principled move here. D takes c4 is a possibility even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think c5 is fine. It's not my style of play, but I would I would think, yeah, c5 is pretty aggressive, energetic move. Tracking back into center right away. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. I Yeah. Yeah. I think uh um... Probably I would play um, probably queen f6. Probably is good enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was looking at that as well. I think either is probably fine. Um, I would personally might consider playing. Maybe queen b6 just to get the white pawn to move to e3 to block in that dark square bishop. Then I will consider playing a move like mm. maybe maybe the follow up idea could be to take on C four. Mm -hmm. Repeat that one more time. What you said that, uh, um, Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, it didn't it doesn't look as good as I thought. There's nothing forcing here. I think white is fine. Right. So I think... Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Right. Right. What is he trying to play after queen b6 and e3? Oh, if it's white turn. Um, I think he'll just take on d5, right? b4. We play a5. Yeah. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, um, usually if I'm going to take the isolated pawn, I want to maintain as many pieces as possible, both minor and major. Right. Uh, I don't think he's going to play queen a4. I mean, I can just play bishop d7, you know. I think he might try to play maybe like knight d5. Knight d4 or knight e5, possibly, yes. Well, I mean, here I would just focus on, personally, I would just focus on getting my pieces out. So I'd just play 97. Mm. Well. So if knight f6, 95, I can castle, I think. Maybe, right? Yeah. Well, you know, it depends on how ambitious I'm feeling. I would maybe, I mean, I would not personally, I would not consider sacrificing the exchange, but knowing it's a game of Anderson, 
Did he play Bishop A6 or something? Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, well, I would personally just play. I think I'll just play rook b8, maybe. Rook b8. Um, me. Yes. Well, the idea of rook b8 is to try to tie down the queen side as much as possible with you know, his bishop can't move, and uh, possibly I have, you know, rook b6 coming, hitting the bishop, making the bishop move again. Uh, um... I might also consider playing bishop a6, and he can't play bishop to b5 or anything to challenge that. And then he can't castle. And so in this position, bishop a6, I mean, I understand the compensation black is getting. We're getting a lot of development. White can't castle. But you said, what would I play? And for me to make a gamble like that, I mean... That's just not my style of play. I would not play Bishop A6 personally. Yeah. So you th you would you would play bishop a6 here if this was your game? Hmm. I mean, hmm. Okay. So F3 doesn't work either instead of knight D2? What if, what if he played just F3 instead of F3? Yeah. Right. Hmm. Mm hmm. You're, I can't hear you. Yeah, I can hear you now. 
Yes, yes. So maybe we should play. Bishop B7. Uh, will that be up a piece? I guess, yeah. Yeah, so I'm saying like, can we not pay, just play bishop b7? Okay. Mm -hmm. the... yeah i was trying to make uh something more forcing like knight f4 to work but I don't, I don't think it i considered it but i don't think there's any kind of concrete checkmate or... really Yeah, um, I mean, I'm looking at knight f4, you know, some bishop d3, king b3, queen e6 type of stuff, but. Okay. Yes. Okay, so first I have to calculate he just takes it. If he takes it, then... Uh, so I play bishop d3. If king b3, then... Queen e6, king a4, you can also play knight d5, but then I just take the knight with the rook, and he has a lot of problems. 
so he has to play probably king a4 or something, and in that case, I can play queen c4, and that's almost checkmate. King takes a5, and then queen, I don't know. Queen a6 should be checkmate, I think. Right? That's one variation. Knight f4, he takes, then I play bishop d3. He plays... Rook eight. No, but I want to also see what happens if uh, king goes to the d file. So after bishop d d three. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. And if he moves the king queen somewhere, instead of taking my knight. Well, yes, but what if he moves his queen to where I don't have bishop g6 picking up the queen anymore? So let's just say he moves the queen to a dark square. Sure. Then... I feel like there's got to be something more forcing here in this position, right? Like, oh, because it recreates that thread of the bishop discovery, and the king is still completely busted open, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I got it. No, I don't play E4. But I know this is the Evan Gambit. I've seen it before. Uh, so he's going to play C3 and D4 quickly. Yeah, yeah.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I do have this habit of playing extremely solid and extremely uh, safe. Yeah. Uh, well, Yeah, the moves I'm considering are e5, bishop takes f7, knight g5. I even consider queen b3. I think e5 has got to be the way to go because I think I want to play bishop a3 next. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Right. So I'm Considering giving up that bishop already, um, I need to calculate to see if that actually works. Yes. I think I should just give up that white light square bishop. So bishop f7, maybe. Um, yeah, knight e5, king g8 or something. But then... If I could just have... If I could have that diagonal, then I would be great, but... Problem is that knight on a5 is there. So, and he doesn't have to play king g8. He can also play king e8.
Well, actually, couldn't I just um, ignore the bishop and just take on e5 with the knight? Uh, so I can always get the knight back with queen a4, right? Right. What now? Um... Mm -hmm. So, I'm, yeah, I'm considering the d5 move, but I don't, I haven't worked it all out yet. Uh, so if d5, if knight takes, then I think I can play rook d1 or something like that, maybe. But if bishop takes... The knight takes, queen takes, queen takes, knight takes, that wouldn't, then I have rook, uh, I have a check I can give on e1. d5, bishop takes, do I have any in-between moves, maybe like... Could I just play d5 and then just open the lines and move my queen away or something? Maybe like, maybe take the bishop also and then do something else, like move the queen away. I'm not forced to take the bishop, but that bishop is pretty strong. Well, um, what if he plays c6? Oh, okay. If he plays c6, then I can play rook d1, right? Rook d1, rook e1, both sound kind of pretty good, I think. Uh, I think I can just take that bishop, knight takes d5. I think so. I think that should be, should be okay. Um...
Well, if he takes my knight on e5, then I can play. Maybe knight takes b6. Yeah. Right. Could I not also just play knight takes? Oh, no, no, knight takes b6 does not work. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Um... All types of moves come to mind, um, such as, I don't know, bishop e7, one possibility. Other than that, Right. Um, Night takes, queen takes. Rook takes, pawn takes. Uh, well, I was calculating knight b6, queen b6, then maybe rook takes e5, but... Mm. Yeah, that looks decent. Right. Yeah, because now rook takes it. Right. Yes. Okay.
<sighs> well, um, probably just rookie E1 followed by rookie 7 might be even good, right? Or... Oh, wow. Mm, yeah. No questions. No questions. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait one second, one second. Um, can you share with me your payment link? Do you have wise.com? Okay, I'll send you a link again. If you could do the wise, that would be the easiest. If absolutely not that, then how do you take payment? Do you have like PayPal or something? Okay, try wise. If it absolutely, if you can't figure it out, then we can do PayPal, but PayPal will charge a lot more fees. Okay, but either way, give me your PayPal email as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye.